Hi guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will be fixing one of my subscribers' tracks. Huge thanks to Friedrich who has uh, sent his track so I can do this kind of video. It's a new format for my channel. And if you guys want me to fix your track in the next video, feel free to connect with me on uh, Instagram or you can also send your tracks via email. I'm going to leave my email address so you can do that. And in the next videos, I will fix your tracks. So let's start. Just before we start guys, I invite you to join and be a part of the VIP team. It's an exclusive group on Telegram where I post free sample packs, presets for synthesizers, and you can also share your own tracks and I will give you a detailed feedback so you know what to do to make your track sounds good. Right now, we are 30 people in this group and the purpose of this group guys is to build a community of music producers with the same goal, with the same dream and grow together as a team and move and develop as a music producer and move forward. It's absolutely free guys, just click the link in the first comment and you will be a member of the VIP club. This is how the group is called on Telegram and you will immediately get a free sample pack. So guys, I invite you to join and be a part of the FX10 team. What do you think of the chat guys? I think it's a really good idea. I like it a lot and I can definitely feel that uh, Friedrich was inspired by uh, this kind of uh, geo deep progressive uh, melodic house kind of style and right now let's try and fix his track. So the first mistake I see here is the grouping of your tracks. So uh, let's now the one thing I can see a kick so I'm going to take those two kicks uh, I'm going to take the baseline as well and I'm going to group those into one channel and I'm going to call this group low so uh, those say so the low group will be responsible for the kick and for the baseline okay uh, what else what else uh, I see that this is the drums group I'm going to do like that everything in one color so we see what kind of tracks those are and the instruments I'm going to use the orange so right now guys uh, what we've done here we grouped our tracks so when we are working on the project both on mixing arrangement we can straight away see what kind of instruments we are dealing with because uh, when, when you are you because when you are using a lot of different colors it might be a bit complicated to you know navigate inside the project so this is why i strongly recommend using color coding and also give the right names to your channels i'm going right now to rebalance the track so you guys see how to properly balance your tracks your instruments and let's start from the kick and the bass yeah i usually set my kicks around minus 12 and you also and i also see that there are two kicks and uh it's not really good because if we combine two kicks like with the sub layer we're going to get really muddy low end and we definitely don't want that so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut the lows and i'm just going to leave the click of the kick guys so yeah and together it sounds like that i'm also going to delete those we don't need them like that and the EQ I'm also going to delete and one more thing you could do is to play with the envelope yeah so the kick is not too long so it doesn't clash with the bass frequencies of our bass synth and now we could start playing with the bass line Uh, the problem here is that the bass line is way too high so I'm going to move that one octave lower and it doesn't sound really good so let me check the chords so what kind of chords do we have here 
So I am finished with the baseline guys and uh, what I've made is I've made the baseline a bit more simple so it follows along with our chords, the melody, the arps and I've also played around with the velocity here as you can see. So now let's listen together with the chords. And yeah, the, the, basically the bass line just follows along. So it's the key, the D is the key, we go down, we go down, and again, we go back to the D. And it sounds really nice, I like it. Uh, now the, uh, the ARPS, so let's adjust the volume of the ARPS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounds okay. Now we really quick. Now I'm really quickly going to remove all of the low end guys, so we don't have that unnecessary information. So on the arps, on the chords. Now the ad lib. Now the tribal horn. So what I've done to uh, this synth is I've cut the very low end so we have enough space for our kick and bass drum. Also uh, increased just a little bit of uh, saturation here. It was already on the channel. I've removed the delay and the reverb so it's better to have the, your delay on the send. Like I'm talking about those channels. So basically what I'm doing is I'm sending this to the reverb right now, guys. So it's better when you are working with uh, this pace of your track. But if you wanna do like uh, some kind of creative things, you could try and use the delay and the reverb on the insert on the channel itself. Yeah, this one sounds cool. So let's try this one. So what I see here is that we could try and cut more of the low end and the one more mistake here is it's boosted like way too much so uh, I'm going to remove the high cut. Yeah, so we are ready with the instruments. What I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to use the EQ and cut the very low, so at 100, use a low pass, low shell filter, and also cut, again, 300 hertz, just to free up the space for our kick and bass guys. And make sure to use the filter here, guys, so you use sidechain, only on the very low frequencies so around like two three hundred so something like that should be fine and also make sure to use the makeup to adjust the gain And I'm also going to use the side chain on the base, but I'm going to use the shorter attack time. So you're going to see guys. Also, I'm using filter here. The Q. 
kick. And if you want to check your low end, if it works like the kick and bass, if they work together, use an auto filter or just like any kind of filter on the master channel, cut the highs Yeah, we can hear that the kick and bass now sound nice. And now I'm going to work with the drums. So basically what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm adjusting the length of the sample so it sounds clean. Because if your decay time is way too long, it's not going to sound that good. Really need to make sure that our decay time is okay and works with the groove of our track now the second hat I think we could even use the pan knob and uh, like make our hats like a bit wider, it's like to the left and to the right. One more hat. So this one has a lot of the low end. We need to use an EQ. And I also want to cut some of the higher frequencies, like the harsh ones. For the percussion sound, we could add a little bit of reverb. And I'm also going to work with the envelope here. Now this one has a lot of low end as well. I also want to cut the higher frequencies. But like, honestly guys, I feel like this sound, it doesn't have a lot of space like in the mix. Because there's always a balance between your instruments and you just can't have everything playing at the same time. Therefore, it's really crucial for you to find the balance at like what instruments should play at what time uh, during your track. Like, in, in different parts so for example we can mute it like for now and maybe use it in um, another part of the track but like now i feel it doesn't sound that good here yeah the clap i want to make just a little bit shorter and i also see that there's way too much low cut on this clap so i'm going to remove it yeah now it sounds nice Yeah, the ride. I think we could add just a little bit of the low end. Yeah, it's always a balance and uh, if you guys want to know how to properly EQ the low end, you should uh, make a low cut and uh, try cutting low end like till the moment when the sound like starts feeling like it's it's kind of unnatural so you've removed way too much low end and just go a bit back and that's the like the perfect spot for the low cut for your for your sound yeah guys so basically that was it i didn't do like almost anything at all i've just worked with the volume a little bit of eq so i wasn't even mixing it what i also see like i 
bit of problem with uh, this mix is that there are way too elements playing at the same time so uh, try to uh, find like the the place where you could uh, use your elements but like they should not play at the same time so maybe uh, in, in, in the drop in the intro you have like some leads playing after you have some pads etc etc so I, I hope you get what I'm talking about guys and yeah that's basically it uh, the last step what we could do we could do like a mastering just real quick I'm going to use a glue compressor or actually just one thing before we do that uh, I want to use a sidechain compressor so let's do that real quick As you can see guys everything is balanced and uh, sounds pretty okay as like for the arrangement part because I'm not mixing I was just playing with uh, with the volume basically it's gain staging some simple EQing not really mixing anything but I think now guys it sounds way better than the first version and I hope Frederick also likes how it sounds, how I improved his track and if you guys want me to do the same to your track uh, let me know, connect with me on Instagram, I will leave a link to my Instagram also you can connect with uh, Frederick. maybe you can guys do some tracks together, connection is a cool thing and uh, yeah I think that was all for today, I hope you learn something and uh, as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one